हेलो फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू द न्यू सेशन ऑफ हॉस्पिटल एंड क्लिनिकल फार्मेसी मैं सेल्फ मिस मालवी राजेंद्र भावसार एम फार्म इन फार्मास्यूटिक्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज एडवर्स ड्रग रिएक्शन सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस पार्ट वन सो आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू लर्न डेफिनेशन ऑफ एडवर्स ड्रग रिएक्शन classification of adverse drug reaction reasons for adr drug induced diseases and teratogenicity so first we will start with the definition an adverse drug reaction is an injury caused by taking medication adrs may occur following a single dose or a prolonged administration of a drug or result from the combination of two or more drug a response to drug which is noxious and unintended and which occurs at dose normally used in a man for a prophylaxis diagnosis or a therapy of a disease or the modification of physiological function then reasons for adr there are different reasons first reason dispensing and medication administration error second it may be failure to set the therapeutic endpoints third biology difference and fourth patient related factors then types of adr first type is predictable adr in predictable adr there are again three types excessive pharmacological effect secondary pharmacological effect rebound effect after discontinuation and b unpredictable that is allergic reaction or anaphylaxis idiosyncrasy genetically determined effect so first we'll study about predictable adr in that excess pharmacological effect it is a result of excessive pharmacological action of a drug due to overdosage of prolonged use okay in this example is excess insulin with hypoglycemia even death from hypoglycemic shock second example antihypertensive with hypotension or anticoagulants with severe bleeding so these are the several examples for the excessive pharmacological effect that is excessive means more than the required one okay more than the normal that is excess then secondary pharmacological effect that is development of diarrhea with antibiotic therapy due to altered giti bacteria flora yes this is secondary effect whenever antibiotic therapy is going on it shows a severe it is showing the side effect there is a secondary effect that is diarrhea due to the alteration in giti bacterial flora then orthostatic hypotension with phenothiazin this is also the second example then rebound after effect after discontinuation okay so predictable toxic effect dose depend adverse effect may be by direct damaging effect to tissue example paracetamol overdose leading to hepatotoxicity amino glycoside causes nephrotoxicity now rebound response due to the r upregulation abrupt withdrawal after chronic use so example is propranolol stoppage leads to precipitation of mi glucocorticoid withdrawal leads to the acute adrenal insufficiency morphine due to the are super sensitivity rebound super sensitivity then unpredictable so it may be allergy or hypersensitivity drug allergy or hypersensitivity so it is a abnormal reaction of immune system to drug occur with much smaller doses organs affected are skin airways blood vessels blood and gat here drug metabolite act as an antigen hapten that is incomplete antigen and drug have a small molecules which become antigenic only after binding with endogenous protein and induce the production of antibody that is sensitized lymphocytes then mechanism and types of drug allergy first is humoral that is type 1 anaphylactic reactions so on exposure to drug antigen antibody reaction in mast cell surface occur which leads to cause the release of mediators like histamine that is 5ht lt prostaglandin and bf which result in urticaria itching 
angioedema, bronchospasms, rhinitis, anaphylactic shocks. For this, the treatment is by giving antihistamines, which are beneficial to treat the allergy. Then, idiosyncrasy, genetically determined abnormal reaction to the chemical. Drug interaction with some unique factor of the individual not found in majority of subject and produce uncharacteristic reaction. The type of reaction is restricted to the individual with a particular genotype. Example, barbiturate causes excitement and mental confusion in certain individuals. Second example is chloramphenicol which causes non dosated aplastic anemia in the rare individuals. The genetically determined effect in the case of patient with special genotype or genetic makeup, there is increase in the risk of drug toxicity. A respective example of such reactions are first, patient with hereditary deficiency, zudocholinesterase are unable to metabolize the muscle relaxant, succinyl choline, and may develop the prolonged paralysis and aponia following its use. Glucose 6 phosphorus dehydrogenase is an enzyme which is involved in dehydration of glucose. Many people in Southeast Asia and Africa are deficient in glucose phosphate dehydrogenase. Such population can develop hemolytic anemia after the use of primaquin or quinidine, aminoquinoline, sulfonamide, and nitroferentoin. Third example is drug like isoniazides, hydrazoline, and procainamide are metabolized in the liver by the enzyme N acetyltransferase. In the population, some individuals are slow acetylators and some other fast acetylators. Slow acetylators of isoniazide may suffer from the peripheral neuropathy. And drug induced lupus syndrome is common in slow acetylators of hydrazoline, hydralazine, and procainamide. Then, detection of area. No drug is absolutely safe by the time a drug is introduced in the market. Most of the pharmacological effects are known as adverse effects resulting from the excessive pharmacological activity as well as documented. But unpredictable adverse effects are not identified until it has been subjected to much more widespread use. So as to detect the unpredictable adverse drug reaction, different approaches are used. First is cohort study. This is used when the group of drug receivers studied to evaluation outcome after the exposure. It used when detection of event occurs with frequency of more than 1 in 500 exposed. It involves short-term and long-term clinical trials, post-marketing surveillance of established and new drug. Spontaneous report of suspected, second one is spontaneous report of suspected adverse drug reaction occurs when the prescriber report suspected reaction to the investigating agency and use the resulting information. Third, Review of vital statistics, regular review of national and regional vital statistics could help to identify the unexpected increase which might be drug induced. Term estrogen use can be used to cause uterine cancer. Then case control study. This is used when the patient with suspected drug induced disease are compared with reference population. Reduction of ADR or reduction of adverse drug reaction. The risk of adverse drug reaction can be reduced by taking following consideration. So first, a detailed drug history should be taken as a part of clinical history. Second, drug treatment should be used only when there is a clear indication for it and there is no pharmacological alternative. Then third is polypharmacy or multiple drug regimen should be avoided whenever possible. Fourth, particular attention pay to be paid to a drug dose and response in neonates and geriatric patients and those with renal, hepatic and cardiac disease. The need for continuing treatment should be regularly reviewed and drugs which are not necessary should be stopped. Thank you friends. Thank you for the patient listening. In second part, we will deal with the different drug induces area. Thank you so much.